Community Basketball, right here on St. Louis 11. It's an MCC showdown as the Marquette Warriors visit sold out Keel Auditorium. Don't go away. Next, and so is Billiken Basketball. SNI Sports Network presents St. Louis University Basketball. Billiken Basketball is brought to you by True Value Hardware. For quality selection and service, make True Value Hardware your store of first choice. By Blue Cross Blue Shield of Missouri, the healthy advantage. By the St. Louis Post-Dispatch, where you'll find great sports coverage seven days a week. By Blue Choice, the Blue Cross Blue Shield of HMOs. By your St. Louis Quality Ford dealers on both sides of the river, who are winning St. Louis over with the best-selling cars and trucks in America. By Jack in the Box restaurants, for exciting new taste, this is the place. By Bush Beer, a beer with a taste as smooth as its name. And by Shop and Save, celebrating 10 years of savings. Remember, the more you shop, the more you save every day at Shop and Save. It's the biggest news about Ford Escort since it was introduced. For the first time ever, you can choose from a $1,000 cash bonus from Ford, or you can take $750 cash plus low 6.9% financing for up to 48 months. There's never been a better opportunity for you to own the world's best-selling car. Ford Escort. There's never been a better time to buy. See your local Ford dealer today. Celebrate 10 years of savings. At Shop and Save. You've been saving every day. Celebrate with the best. Everybody's favorite delicious Nabisco Teddy Grahams in three popular varieties, chocolate, cinnamon, and honey. Stock up now. The Shop and Save price, a low, low dollar 43. The more you shop, the more you save. When you consider everything the mountains have to offer, it's not surprising why anyone would want to work up here. Come think of it, it's not surprising why they'd want to hang around after work either. Get ready for non-stop action. At noon, Chuck Norris tracks a ruthless gang to Hong Kong to kick tail. That's forced vengeance. Then at two, Rock Hudson leads a commando raid on Rommel's Africa Corps in Tobruk. And at four, a Western outlaw has a difficult decision. The noose or marriage? Jack Nicholson stars in Going South. Spend your Sundays at the movies with St. Louis 11, starting Sunday at noon. Live from Sold Out Keel Auditorium, it's the St. Louis University Billikens and the Marquette Warriors. Hello again, everybody. I'm Bob Ramsey. It's also senior night and the last regular season appearance for maybe the greatest Billiken of all time, Anthony Bonner. Well, this has been great. You know, overall, I really don't regret the experience. Uh, the fans here have been great, and I've tried to respond to them by giving them 110% each night out and hopefully win some ball games for them. And like I, just, you know, like I said earlier, there's no place like home, and hopefully uh, the enthusiasm will continue in years to come and other players can feel the warm experience and have as much fun at Kill Auditorium as I've had in my career. You mentioned winning a game. Tonight you got a tough one against Marquette in Milwaukee. They triple-teamed you every time you even got near the ball. I know you want to get back at them tonight. Oh, definitely. You know, after that game, they caused me a couple nightmares because there was three and four guys running at me, and after the game, I hadn't yet to get over that experience. So tonight, you know, we have a different ball, you know, a different game plan than we had that particular night. Like I said earlier in the interview we did yesterday that uh, I really didn't shoot the ball very well from the perimeter and needed it, uh, many of my teammates. So tonight, come out and correct that. You know, we're at home, so they're at the disadvantage, and we're going to come out and give them a run for their money. And joining me now, as always, my partner Tom Holly. Tom, simply stated, Anthony Bonner has been Mr. Everything to the St. Louis U basketball program. Simply stated, he has been that, Bob, both on and off the floor. He came into this program a reticent freshman. You just saw a very 
young man on that tape, he will succeed after basketball. Well, they told me there would be no math in this job, and so we won't go into the calculations, but the Billikens need to win this game so they don't finish fourth in the conference race. We never let the facts down away analysis, so we won't again tonight, but the Billikens do not want to play Xavier before the championship game of the tournament. To do that, they're going to have to beat Marquette tonight and hope for some good things down the line from other teams. We already talked about Anthony Bonner. He was stopped by Marquette in their meeting earlier in the year. What can the Billikens do to free up their big man? They've got to shoot the ball better from the perimeter. That will free up Anthony Bonner. Charles Newberry, Jeff Buckterfeld have to step up and hit some jump shots. All right, the starting lineups and the play-by-play as the Billikens take on the Marquette Warriors. Don't go away. This is St. Louis University Billiken basketball. For great personal service and low everyday prices, check the lineup at your neighborhood True Value Hardware store, where the February Hardware Value of the Month is a pack of three True Test professional cleaners to fight dirt, grease, and grime. Like heavy duty spray cleaner, ammoniated glass cleaner, and concentrated all purpose cleaner. Get all three True Test professional cleaners for $2.98 in February, where you see the banner at participating True Value Hardware stores and home centers. At Offenburg Belleville, we're overstocked. We have over 400 cars and trucks in stock with more on the way and no room to park them. So we're cutting prices to the bone. As a matter of fact, we guarantee you won't find a better deal anywhere. What's our guarantee? 100 gallons of gas free if you find a better deal anywhere. You heard it right. That's 100 gallons of gas free if you find a deal on any new car or truck we can't beat. That's only at Offenburg Belleville, six miles south of St. Clair Square on Route 159. Traveling on business or pleasure, be sure to use National Car Rental for all your car rental needs. Dial 1-800-CAR-RENT. National Car Rental is the exclusive car rental agency of the NCAA Championships. And you take a look at tonight's officials, Tim Fogarty, Phil Robinson, Dan Patterson. And they know it's an important game out there, and they'll want to keep things under control. It was a wild one up in Milwaukee, Tom Holly, and it was a good basketball game, except the Billikens couldn't get some things done offensively. Well, they really struggled, as you say, offensively, and tonight they're going to be, as you see, without Kevin Foots. And Kevin Foots has been a big part of the Billiken offense all year long. Kevin, of course, suspended after an incident in practice on Wednesday. It, will be, it has been difficult for him to score all year. Tonight, double tough. And there are your starting lineups, different starting lineups uh, for the St. Louis Billiken tonight. As it is senior night tonight, Anthony Jones, Mike Ivester in the lineup. Donnie Brown is not in there for St. Louis simply because it's senior night. The Melvin Braun Vester triumvirate at center had been the game plan, and I'm sure it still is for Rich Grower rotating his three centers almost equally. Well, once again, the Billikens having trouble offensively are going to have to get something out of that position without foots. Kevin's presence, while it's been disruptive, has certainly helped him on the offensive end of the floor. And when they've succeeded offensively, he's been a part of it. So somebody's got to pick up the slack. And a reminder, the St. Louis Marriott Pavilion Hotel with newly remodeled pavilion ballroom and public areas will be ready to meet the needs of your group meetings or banquets in January. For the best value on weekends, ask for the Marriott 2 for breakfast. Weekend package. Call 421-1776. Tom, uh, obviously one guy you want to stop when you talk about stopping the Marquette Warriors, Tony Smith, the 6'3 senior, 185-pounder. He's averaging 23.2 points a game, and he has been red hot from the opening day. Well, he's a 
very good on dribble penetration and so Billigans will try to check him probably with Anthony Jones. They'll switch up on him. He's not a real quick player, but he's strong. If he can get the ball to the free throw line, he's very dangerous. Once again, the key tonight, we've touched on it a couple of times, can the Billikens score? I believe St. Louis and their game plan can play good enough defense on Marquette, but can they score? Well, you're right, and once again, we'll touch on it probably a lot tonight. There you see Tony Smith, but somebody's got to pick up that slack. Look for Newberry and Luchtefeld to have to hit some jump shots. Great atmosphere tonight, Tom. We saw just a little bit on tape about 15 minutes ago. Uh, ceremonies for the seniors, Anthony Jones, Mike Ivester, Charlie Newberry, and Anthony Bonner. And it was really moving the, uh, the roar for Anthony Bonner, who controls the opening tip as the Billikens move it into the front court. That's Charlie Newberry. And there's Anthony Bonner, the career steals and rebound leader for St. Louis U. Jeff Luckdefeld, the only senior not in the lineup. Bonner partially blocked, but Anthony Jones gets the loose ball. He has it hammered and taken away. And here come the Marquette Warriors. You see the Billikens match up Anthony Jones on Smith. Smith's a little too strong for Charlie Newberry. Look for Anthony to bump Smith all over the floor. Anglebar is a three-point shooter. Free him up, he'll take the shot. There's your man, uh, Tony Smith. He cams that jumper with a high shot, the we, high arcing shot, and Bonner brings it back down the floor. We talked about Smith wanting to get the free throw line. They ran a double pick for him. He came out and stepped up, hit the jumper. The Billikens could not sh shoot the medium range jumper and out against Marquette, and Marquette comes out in a matchup zone. No surprise against St. Louis. Newberry misses. The Billikens are 0 for 2 as Baldwin rebounds. Trevor Powell, Tyrone Baldwin, Tony Smith, Mark Anglevar, and Rod Gross for Marquette, almost stolen away by Newberry, Anglevar. That's Tony Smith, Anthony Jones, the Billiken's best defender on Tony Smith. Anglevar will take that long jumper. Rebound back up, Gross, he's fouled by Bonner. Rod Gross, the 6'10 junior from Moundsview, Minnesota, really did a number on the Billiken center in, uh, centers in Milwaukee. Gross, not a great offensive player. Here you see him go to the board, no uh, block out. They just didn't match up on Gross that time. He did do a good job in Milwaukee. He's not obviously a real mobile or effective center, but if you let a 6'10 guy run free underneath him. And while he's at the line, we might as well mention that this is an excellent free throw shooting team. 76% as a team. Rod Gross is the only guy that keeps it from being an 80% free throw shooting team. Mike Ivester on the board. That's AJ. High school teammates with Anthony Bonner. Anthony Jones there for Newberry. Bonner, wide open. Yes. Bonner stuck that in the face of Ed Manning, who's from the San Antonio Spurs, who's sitting next to Floyd Irons, watching Anthony Bonner, whose stock is going up Tony every day. Tony Smith works, stops. Long board for Newberry. We're tied at two. Charlie pulls up and hits. Good sign. Get Charlie off fast. 4-2 Billikens. Tony Smith logs a lot of clock for Marquette, and it's not easy clock, Tom, because normally you don't want your shooter handling the ball unless it's Chris Jackson, and that's kind of the role Tony Smith plays for Marquette. Well, this is kind of an Iron Man team, but Smith is the Iron Man of Iron Man. He's a senior. He's strong. Over, over the top air ball recovered by Bonner. Billikens look to run, but Marquette does a good job getting back. That's Luck to fell. Mike Ivester, nice move. He pinned his man and hit. Mike Ivester on senior now. What aggressive move by Ivester. Rich Gar up applauding the senior. Double stack on the near side. For Marquette, that's Anglovar. Entry for Powell. Bonner with another board. Newberry on the run for St. Louis. Billikens currently in third place in the MCC. The game back of Dayton. They let Anthony Jones shoot that all night. Baseline J. Nope, Gross got it. Rod Gross on the board. Billikens stay in there. Man to man. Angle bar. Baldwin. Baldwin spins on luck with the ball and averages 12 points a game. Nice double team down low. Powell won't hit. Rebound. Bonner. Nice double team. Luckdefeld helped out on the Jeff umbrella defense. Right. Drop down very effectively. Billikens lead 
Bonner on the perimeter for Newberry. Almost walked as he mishandled the ball. Angular pops out on luck to throw. Charlie Newberry will reload the half court offense. Bonner double team. AJ trying to post up his man. Does in traffic. Fall away. Whistle foul. It counts. They're looking very patient on offense the last couple of times down the floor. Got it inside to Ivester first time. AJ the second time. And if they wheel inside, good things happen. There's AJ's move. And look at he really got hammered on the arm, was still able to get it in the air. He is a powerful man. Good strength. You saw a shot, by the way, of Kevin O'Neill on the bench. I think I have seen the future of the MCC and its name is Marquette meaning Kevin O'Neill. You're absolutely right, Bob. They've had a tremendous recruiting year. We'll talk about it later. We have a timeout on the floor as A.J. gets the three-point three, three play, 9-2 St. Louis. Stick with us. This is Billiken Basketball. Celebrate 10 years of savings. A shopping save. You can save every day. Celebrate with rich, satisfying Campbell soup. Delicious nacho cheese and cheddar cheese, great for your dipping recipes. The shop and save price, only 63 cents each. Mmm, mmm, good. The more you shop, the more you save every day. Get shop and save. Ford trucks are the number one selling trucks in America. And your St. Louis quality Ford dealer is out to keep it that way. With up to $1,500 cash back from Ford. Now get $750 cash back on Ford's tough full-size pickup. $1,000 cash back on Ford Ranger or Bronco 2. And $1,500 cash back on a big Ford Bronco. Big savings on America's number one trucks. Now at your St. Louis quality Ford dealer. On both sides of the river to St. Louis for you. Interviews, features, reviews, tips, and advice. Many favorite articles from the St. Louis Post-Dispatch are now rolled into one new weekly edition, and it's delivered free to people who don't yet subscribe to the Post-Dispatch. Introducing Postscript. Look for it every Wednesday. St. Louis University basketball rights have been granted at the SNI Sports Network solely for the entertainment of our audience. Any publication, rebroadcast, or other use of the accounts of this game without the express written consent of SNI Sports Network or St. Louis University is prohibited. Billikens lead at 9-2, 15-57, and left here in the first half. Full court pressure by St. Louis in the zone. See the Billikens has done a nice job and they put a nice defense as Mark Anglovar travels. There's your shot of Kevin O'Neill. I predict the dynasty builder. This guy can recruit. Well, he came out of Arizona with a reputation as the best recruiter in the country. Now, obviously, his situation there was good with Lou Olson, but nothing that's happened so far. He recruited four top 100 players, has three big time transfers. As you said, Bob, look for Marquette to become the standard in this league very quickly. Bonner went the other way, got a shot blocked by Powell, but St. Louis will get it back. Powell hit Bonner on the block, no foul. And they are, have a good situation in Milwaukee. I mean facility, uh, good town, basketball tradition. The Warriors, I think, will make some hay. Luckefeld wanted a give and go. He gave, but Jones didn't go. Right. I was in Atlanta, I guess it's been 14 years ago, seeing Bo Ellis before the game. Marquette won a national championship, so there is a precedent there. You're right. Good basketball tradition. Good situation for Kevin O'Neill. Charlie Newberry runs the half-court offense, 15 seconds on the shot clock. The Lickens lead at 9-2, 15-10, left in the first half. Honor on the give, seven seconds on the shot clock, Newberry hits! That's a trade! Talk about Newberry's outside shooting being the key to the game. Charlie, once again, off very quickly. 10-point St. Louis lead. Smith for Baldwin, Anglovar has some space, instead they work their motion offense, Baldwin. That's Anglovar for Tony Smith. He likes to penetrate back to Anglovar, who will most of the time work on the perimeter. 
Baldwin will drive on Luchtefeld. Missed. Weak side rebound. Bonner in traffic. Charlie Newberry. Gross on the board. 12-2 St. Louis. Smith wants to back it out of there. Something a little more steady going on the Marquette offense. Picks down low, trying to free up Powell. We have a whistle and a foul away from the ball. It'll be against Marquette, and I believe it was on Rod Gross. You're correct, Bob. I didn't say anything. They call him up for an elbow. And foul. People don't realize when you play against Bonner and Anthony Jones, even though AJ's 6'2 at best, he's maybe as physical, if not the most physical player in the conference. Bonner, they cleared out for him. Nice dish low. AJ in traffic will have a jump. Should go to Marquette on the possession about Anthony Jones. Anthony Jones is a very tough matchup for Tony Smith. He's not real quick, but more physical, and Anthony Jones, just as st stronger than Smith, tough matchup. Billikens go for the trap. Finally across midcourt. Gross for Powell. Tony Smith. Trying to work the ball up high as they swing the post players up to receive the pass. Gross comes up to get it there. Trying to free something up on the baseline. Tony Smith wants the drive. Cut off by Ivester. They have a mismatch. The Billikens have switched defensively. Now Gross is open. Shot clock at 11. Manglevar. Nice dish. Loose ball though. Ivester and Newberry ahead for Bonner to the hoop. Finger roll. Oh, wouldn't go. Smith rebound. Nice defensive play by Marquette. Didn't allow Bonner enough slicing room to the bucket. Baldwin for Powell. Nice fadeaway jumper over Ivester. Can't let Powell catch the ball in that spot, Bob. Newberry in the front court. Luck to fill. Anthony Jones. Bonner tried to draw a charge. Couldn't do it. Dawkins by eight. Still early in the first half, 12.40 mark. Anthony Jones, Charlie Newberry. Luchtefeld around the pit. Yes! The deuce for Luchtefeld. The junior from Oakville, Illinois. That's the other part of the equation, Bob. The Newberry Luchtefeld connection. And a nice pick by Anthony Jones. Now a turnaround won't go. Rebound Bonner. Newberry lead it. Nice pass for Ivester. Won't get the jam. An offensive foul. Anglovar got back. He read the play that Ivester was going to make, didn't he, Tom? There you'll see it. Oh, I'm sorry. We have a, well, got it. Got into the action a little light. You saw a great bounce pass by Charles Newberry. There, there you is. see it. Mike couldn't quite gather himself. He didn't, really not a very effective jump stop. Good possession by Anglovar. You called it. Good position. 14-4, Billikens on top, 11-59, left in the first half. That's Aguilar. I best you're not quite athletic enough to make that play. Tony Smith from the corner. Let's go, weak side rebound, Powell stripped by Luchtefeld. Nice hust by Jeff Luchtefeld. Did he go out of bounds? Yes, sir, and Marquette will get it back. But Luchtefeld did a nice job on the boards. 11-43, left in the first half, and we will have a timeout on the floor. St. Louis on top. 14 to 4, and this is St. Louis University's Billiken Basketball. Let St. Clair replace your windows and you'll never need to replace them again, guaranteed. Hi, I'm Ken Green, announcing our once-in-a-lifetime window sale. Now save hundreds of dollars on St. Clair's custom-made thermal replacement windows and get free installation. Our lowest financing, five-year glass breakage guarantee, triple glazing, and our lifetime warranty. You'll save hundreds of dollars and never need to replace your windows again, guaranteed. It's a once-in-a-lifetime window sale from St. Clair Corporation, bringing your home the very best for over 100 years. Beautiful rooms come in a can. A can of True Test Easy Care paint from True Value Hardware Stores. Easy Care is spatter resistant to go on neatly, and it comes in four finishes and hundreds of decorator colors. So whether it's soft, subtle flat finish, rich velvety flat enamel, scrubbable semi-gloss enamel, or brilliant gloss enamel, start your beautiful rooms with True Test Easy Care paint from participating True Value Hardware Stores and Home Centers. 
Hi, everybody. We've got the Hot Stove League coming up Sundays at 9.30 on St. Louis 11 with our Boski, Bob Ramsey, and our very special guest, Ted Simmons. Join us. We're back at Kiel Auditorium. It's senior night, and the seniors start at 4 St. Louis, and they're off to a pretty good start, Tom. 14-4 with 11.43 left. And don't forget my good buddy Rich Gould and Ty Keo. They're out west as it, the bitter cold invaded St. Louis. I think Rich was probably out on the golf course as the storm and the soccer's come up immediately following our action. That's a good doubleheader for Channel 11 viewers tonight. Robert, we'll get a win here and see how the soccer guys can do later. I'm sure that, uh, that Rich will be able to bring us a winner for our soccer fans. 14-4, 11-43. Left in the first half. Pelican is really executing their game plan very well, particularly on the defensive end where Anthony Jones is really making it difficult for Tony Smith. Anglovar triggers for the Marquette Warriors. Tony Smith out on. Trying to go double low posting. Swing the players out of the wing. Stolen by Lechtefeld. Throws it up for grabs as he was going out of bounds. Anglovar in the right place at the right time. We have a whistle. A foul away from the ball. Oh, the official came over and said that that was a possession that Jeff Luckefeld actually had possession of the basketball and threw it back in, so it is a new shot clock for the Marquette Warriors. Well, that good call, probably no factor since Marquette really not being all that patient on offense. Entry for Smith, Gross, Anglovar. That was knocked away by Newberry. Anglovar on the wing. Skip for Gross. Melvin Robinson in the game for St. Louis, the seven-foot freshman for the Billikens. Replaced Ivester. Smith on the perimeter. Looks inside. Gross will come out and get that ball. Handed off to Baldwin. 17 seconds on the shot clock. Smith against AJ. Down low, kicked away by Anthony Jones, and a new shot clock. As soon as I say, Marquette's not being very patient. They run 35 seconds off the clock. Get a new one. Three to two in the turnover matchups. Marquette with the three turnovers. As Smith misses, rebound Bonner. Smith only has two points. He's their leading scorer. Luckefeld pulls up on the wing for Newberry. Three-point country. Bang! He got it. Charlie Newberry loads it up. 17-4. Smith, Baldwin, Gross against Robinson. Billikens two out of four from three-point land. Marquette only taking one three-pointer and missed. Baldwin from the elbow. Nope. A.J. kept it alive, but Trevor Powell wants the penetration. Rejected by Melvin Robinson. Jump, Mel, jump. Back down the other end, the Billikens got a little too excited and threw it away. Bad idea by Charlie. Bob, this is not a great... I'm sorry, here you see Melvin. And as you say, Bob, jump, Melvin, jump. This is not a great Marquette team. About 500 and blown out by Wisconsin. But they've had some good wins, most notably against Notre Dame. And they're going to get better. Yeah, O'Neal really just doesn't have many players. I don't mean just in ability. I mean in actual numbers. As Smith misses, Bonner rebounds, stripped away and taken away by Baldwin. Good. So the Billikens will bring it back down. Bonner got another board that had it stripped away. Powell came, or Baldwin rather, came from behind and knocked it away. Anthony Jones for Bonner out of hand. Robinson won the ball inside. Gross did a number on Robinson in Milwaukee when these two teams met last month. Bonner. Triple threat position. Gives it up to Anthony Jones. 15 seconds of the shot clock. 10 seconds in the shot clock. Bonner out high. He'll take the J. Hits! As I watch Anthony Bonner, I try to look at, a, at the perspective of an NBA scout. That has to be a good sign as Anthony squares up, hits the 18th foot. And Baldwin hits a nice jumper over Bonner on the baseline. 
19-8, Billikens on top, Baldwin with four. Newberry on the perimeter for Luck to fell by Anthony Jones. Robinson wants the ball, Gross on the defense. Front Robinson down low. That's Anthony Jones around the Bonner pick, nowhere to go, fires it for Newberry. See if they can get the ball down to Robinson. Nice battle going with Gross. Good shooting really makes up for a lot of things, Bob, and the Billikens come out shooting very well. Really making him look good. There's Melvin, and he had it knocked away by one of the Marquette players, Tyrone Baldwin. O'Neal upset with some officiating and yelling at the officials. You saw him walking to the sideline. There's Big Mel. A year of learning for Melvin Robinson. Missed and got it back. New shot clock. Nelly's averaging seven and a half points a game. Three and a half rebounds. Jones. 7.45 left in the first half. Plenty of time on the shot clock. And Rich Brower calls out a different play for Newberry to run. Lefkoe receives the ball up high. Looks down low. They find Bonner. Turn around. Good. Whistle and a foul. Count the bucket. Six points for Bonner. Foul was away from the ball and it was against Melvin Robinson. It was a bucket and a foul. Didn't count against each other. Count the bucket, count the foul, and we'll take a timeout. 21-8, St. Louis on top. This is Pelican basketball. Celebrate with the fantastic taste of Edie's Frozen Yogurt Inspirations. The price is inspiring, too. A low $1.77 for the quart size at Shop and Save. Make your day. Taste Edie's Frozen Yogurt. The more you shop, the more you save every day. Get Shop and Save. I'm Roy Heimberger, president of Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Missouri. We've been providing health care benefits to Missourians for more than 50 years. And we're still Missouri's leading, most experienced health care benefits company. We're committed to providing our clients with affordable access to quality health care. Our goal is simple, client satisfaction. And that's why you enjoy a healthy advantage when you carry the caring card from Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Missouri. At the half, we will go live to San Diego where it's a lot warmer and Rich Gould will have a live storm update. The St. Louis Storm immediately follows tonight's basketball game and the Big Blue Moment featuring Anthony Bonner at the half. Also, first half highlights and statistics, so don't go away at halftime. Well, maybe you can run and get a sandwich, but turn the volume up real loud when you go to the kitchen. Hey, you got to like the shooting percentages. 52% for St. Louis, nearly 53 while Marquette, 4 of 16 for 25 percent. Tony Smith, quick to down and pull up. Yes. Boy, he pulls up nicely on that jump on the run. Right, very good jump stop, good fundamentals. 21-10 Bills. Four points for Tony Smith with 7-10 left in the first half. I would say Sean Elliott did that better than anybody in college basketball last year. Newberry out high for Luckfeld on the wing. Overload Potter and Robinson. Weak side. Now Robinson goes low, working to try and get the ball free. Gross doing a good job keeping Melvin Robinson away from the basketball. They clear out for Bonner. Elects not to go one on one. Ten seconds in the shot. Eight seconds in the shot clock. Five seconds in the shot clock. Bonner shoots. Bang! He got it. Protecting myself from NBA Scott. You like to see Anthony Bonner hit that jump. Bonner with eight points. Pelicans look to trap Tony Smith. And they got 
Billikens. No, we got a foul. The Billikens rushed out onto the floor, wanting a 10-second call. And Mitch so Crowell sure was saying, look at the shot clock. Ten seconds went by. And they're going to call a foul instead on the Billikens. And Brower is livid. He said 10 seconds went up the shot clock, and that's proof positive. Just as a, about the time that the foul was committed, the shot clock was at 35. Here, you, here, let's see if we can see it. Rich is out there talking about it right now. There you see the foul. We need, we need a... We would need, need an inside clock. And it really yeah. was a right about the time. It was real close. Regardless, the official doesn't use the clock. They count it off themselves. Tyrone Baldwin. The foul. Powell works on Bonner. Well, it's good. Nice move. Powell, he averages almost 17 points a game. Bonner wants to run and take it to the hoop. Throws one up, hoping for a foul, couldn't get it. Now Melvin and or Bonner on the back. There'll be a foul against the Billikens. Anthony out of control and impatient on that possession. Foul's going to be on Robinson, however, his second personal foul. George Wallace comes into the game, the redshirt freshman from Memphis. He comes in for Anthony Jones. Wallace played well on the last road trip for St. Louis. Two losses for the Billikens, but Wallace played well against Dayton and Xavier. They have the job of guarding Smith. Normally, they got caught in a the switch there. Checks handy the ball. Baldwin wants power. Isolates on Bonner. Turnaround. And that won't go. Rebound, Melvin Robinson. For Newberry to run. Bonner takes. Now pulls up with the 10-foot J. Won't go. Weak side tip. Melvin Robinson. Jump, Melvin Robinson. Chris Brown on his feet applauding the work of Melvin Robinson. who skies for that tip. Baldwin wants to drive on Luck to fall. Tony Smith. Rose around the horn. Baldwin for Anglevar, stops, pops, will go. Melvin and Bonner, Bonner pulls it away. George Wallace looks up. Nobody filling the lane, so George will wait for Charlie Newberry to run the show. Back to Wallace. In entry pass, either a bad cut by Robinson or a bad pass by Newberry, but Gross traveled after he stole the pass. Gross, obviously, a real skillful big man. I think Gross has some potential, though, Tom. Oh, yeah, he, right. He needs some strength. And Ivester's going to come in for Robinson. I believe Melvin, oh, no, he's coming in for Jeff Luckefeld. So we look for the big three down low, and I have not seen this big three lineup in a while. Robinson at center, Ivester at power forward, and believe it or not, Anthony Bonner at small forward for St. Louis. A rarity. Billikens want to power the last 448, apparently, Tom. I think they'll try to get the ball to Anthony Bonner at the free throw line and let him try to work and perhaps dish down to Melvin and Ivester at the low block. Wallace will be playing the two guard in this configuration of Billikens. Bonner out high. Billikens lead 25-12. Newberry on the wing. Charlie looks for a man. Robinson had his man pinned, but Bonner takes the J. Won't go tip Robinson. Rebound throw stolen by Wallace. Foul Wallace. On the back, George Wallace trying to grab that rebound from Rod Gross. Billigans that time did try to, got the ball at the top of the key to, to Anthony Bonner. He looked down inside that time, decided to take the jump shot, but they're posting Melvin and Ivester real strong down low. Two quick finals from the MCC today. Xavier beat Butler, Peyton over Detroit. We'll talk about those games and their significance a little bit later. In the game, Bruce Hayes, a six-foot junior from Whitefish Bay, Wisconsin. Pelicans in the zone with his bigger lineup. Hayes wants to drive, penetrate, dish, loose ball, battle for on the floor. Gross and with several Billikens, St. Louis will get the arrow and the basketball. 3.51 left in the half. Billikens lead 25-12, and there's a break on the floor. We'll take one as well. This is St. Louis U Hoops. For great personal service and low everyday prices, check the lineup at your neighborhood True Value Hardware Store. 
for the February Hardware Value of the Month is a pack of three True Test Professional Cleaners to fight dirt, grease, and grime. Like heavy duty spray cleaner, ammoniated glass cleaner, and concentrated all purpose cleaner. Get all three True Test Professional Cleaners for $2.98 in February where you see the banner at participating True Value Hardware stores and home centers. At Offenburg Belleville, we're overstocked. We have over 400 cars and trucks in stock with more on the way and no room to park them. So we're cutting prices to the bone. As a matter of fact, we guarantee you won't find a better deal anywhere. What's our guarantee? 100 gallons of gas free if you find a better deal anywhere. You heard it right. That's 100 gallons of gas free if you find a deal on any new car or truck we can't beat. That's only at Offenburg Belleville, six miles south of St. Clair Square on Route 159. What's new? Nothing I see is true. It's just the same old stuff. Boring as ever. I've had enough. What's new? Try something different, like our scrambled egg pocket, a golden grilled sourdough burger, or our brand new sirloin cheesesteak. They're all here waiting for you at Jack in the Box. What's new? And now it's time for the True Value Hardware Game Summary Report brought to you by True Value Hardware. Anthony Bonner off to a nice start. It's the Anthony Bonner show. He really is dominating the defensive glass for the Billikens. Billikens shooting the ball pretty well, and many of those are jump shots, Bob, something they haven't been able to do recently. Lost in this is one of the worst offensive performances of the year and maybe in a long time by Marquette. They've just been terrible offensively. Some of that has to do with the job that Anthony Jones is doing on Tony Smith. And talking to the Billiken coaches before the game in the last couple of days, they felt that guarding Marquette would not be the problem. The problem would be scoring, and that hasn't been the case as yet, but the Billikens have been on fire from the floor. Bonner will clear out in additions. Newberry down low for Robinson. Nice help out the fence. Hayes, Robinson kept it alive, but Gross recovers. That's Rod Gross caught in a trap, but Smith will bring it up the floor. Bounce pass, jumper. Luck to fall boys. Newberry. Bacon's trying to spread that zone, Tom. Trying to open things up a little bit. 3.04 left in the half. Billikens lead it 25-12. On the top of the key for Newberry. Now double low post. Ivester down low. Faces the bucket. Looks. Can he get the Mel? He can. He turns and he's hammered by Hayes. Get the ball inside. When you've got somebody like Mel in there, generally good things will happen. Well, Billiken, Especially if he kept the ball high, Tom. He kept the ball high. He's going to have to be a little quicker to the basket, but he's, no bonus situation. Hayes picks up his first personal third team foul on Marquette. They don't foul a lot. Entry, luck to fell. Yes, what a play. Reminiscent of the shot. Stiff hit the big Georgia Tech, and I feel like run a similar play. Normally, Easy shot. And normally, Newberry is the recipient of that play because he usually is posting up smaller point guards. But luck to fell had the better matchup, so they ran him in there with Newberry on the pass. It worked either way. Two points for luck to fell and the Billikens. That's gross. Yes, the little jumper for wow. the Rose. Billikens lead it 27-14. Mike Ivester in three. Robinson turns and shoots. Oh, in and out wouldn't go. Marquette will bring it back. With 2-10 left in the, in the first half. The jumper from Baldwin, or rather the dish, as Baldwin faked the jumper. Now it's Smith. Billikens in their 2-3 zone. Hayes, Smith, three-point country. Nope, on the floor, though, loose out of bounds. The best to touch it last. No, they say Hayes touched it. And St. Louis will get it back. Anthony Jones comes in for Melvin Robinson. He did a nice job, Tom. He really did. Pretty active inside. Ted moves Ivester back to center. There's Melvin Robinson sitting next to George Wallace. Bonner will go back the power forward. Hayes jumped out of him before he could release that three-point bomb. 129 left in the half. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Newberry almost lost his footing. 
Ivester, nice entry, luck to fell, got the layup, nice pass by Ivester. He called a couple good passes by Mike Ivester in the last couple of possessions, got in the Billikens easy shots, Melvin didn't make his, luck Jeff did. Luck to fell with six, 110 left. Yes, the nice jumper. Powell. Powell hit it with 105, there you see the clock. Left in the half, Newberry out of control a bit, but got it to Jones over the top. No, on the floor, can A.J. save it? You betcha. Offensive foul on Anthony Jones. Trying to do a little too much. A little too much. It really wasn't all that much contact, but they made the call anyway. Here you see Anthony, he does lower his shoulder a little out of it. Really, that wasn't that much contact. Wallace is going to come into the game for Bonner. 55 seconds left in the half. So the Billikens may risk a foul and get all over it right here, Tom, and they didn't want B to pick up the foul. Good call, Bob. They'll try to trap. Now they come back and fall back into a man with 49 seconds left in the half. 29-16 St. Louis. Tony Smith. Hayes back to Smith. Works it down low. Powell works in. Fade away. Won't go. Rebound. Luck to felt. Stripped from behind. Luck recovers. Ahead for Jones. And with 30 seconds on the clock, you see the clock right there. The Bills will work for the last shot, Tom. Pelican, very good half at both ends of the floor. Now I can be patient. That's Charlie Newberry. You see Luck to fell at the top of your screen. Ivester, and just off the screen there, you see Ivester and Anthony Jones with George Wallace on the strong side of the lane. That's Wallace. Newberry around a double pick. Nope, weak side rebound. Wallace, turn around. No, but he's fouled. With no time on the clock, George Wallace will go to the line to shoot a pair. That's the sort of half it's been for Marquette. They're going to shoot two. George Wallace on the year, however, is only 12 of 22 from the charity stripe, and he's a better shooter than that. George Wallace instinctively turned and shot, and he'll go to the line for a pair. Foul on Hayes, a second personal foul. Wallace has a better touch than that, but only 12 of 22. It's only the second free throw situation for St. Louis in the first half. So the Billikens 29 points have been earned. Wallace. He could put the Billikens up by 15 going into the locker room. Don't forget at halftime, Rich Gould, live report from San Diego. The score in game follows the Billikens. In and out for George. And that'll end the first half of play. 30 to 16 our score. St. Louis leads Marquette. And this is Billiken Basketball. I'm afraid your son is in very serious condition. Wake up, baby, wake up. Doctor? <sighs> See? It's just a light. It's just a light. It's the biggest news about Ford Escort since it was introduced. For the first time ever, you can choose from a $1,000 cash bonus from Ford, or you can take $750 cash plus low 6.9% financing for up to 48 months. There's never been a better opportunity for you to own the world's best-selling car. Ford Escort. There's never been a better time to buy. See your local Ford dealer today. Celebrate 10 years of savings at Shop and Save. You've been saving every day. Celebrate with the best. 
everybody's favorite delicious Nabisco Teddy Grahams in three popular varieties, chocolate, cinnamon, and honey. Stock up now. The shop and save price, a low, low dollar forty-three. The more you shop, the more you save every day. We're back live at Keel Auditorium. The Billikens lead it 30 to 16 at halftime. Tom, you and I were talking during the break that the Marquette Warriors just can't get anything done. Part of that credit the Billikens. Billikens, and particularly Anthony Jones, have had a tremendous first half defensively. Obviously, Marquette has been lethargic and not played well, but you're right. The Billikens have had a lot to do with it. On the offensive end, they've made some jump shots. We talked about their inability to do that all year long. Without Kevin Foots, it is critical for someone to step up and make jumpers. Not only have Mark DeFellow Newberry made them, but Anthony Bonner has too. Right, Anthony Bonner, of course, with NBA scouts at the ball game tonight, and he has continued to show that his hot shooting last weekend at Dayton and at uh, Xavier was not a fluke, and he's hot again tonight from uh, 15 to 18 feet. Anthony's made a couple mistakes in trying to do too much running the floor, but he can run the floor, and I think the scouts know that. What, he's, what he has done now is step up and make the jump shot. All right, we will take a break, and we'll be back with more Billiken basketball right after this. At St. Louis University, education is more than a degree and a job. It's making a difference in the world. Let us tell you about it. Call 314-658-2500. St. Louis University. What's new? Nothing I see. Ain't it true? It's just the same old stuff. Boring ever. What's new? Try something different, like our scrambled egg pocket, a golden grilled sourdough burger, or our brand new sirloin cheesesteak. They're all here waiting for you at Jack in the Box. What's new? At Offenburg Belleville, we're overstocked. We have over 400 cars and trucks in stock, with more on the way and no room to park them. So we're cutting prices to the bone. As a matter of fact, we guarantee you won't find a better deal anywhere. What's our guarantee? 100 gallons of gas free if you find a better deal anywhere. You heard it right. That's 100 gallons of gas free if you find a deal on any new car or truck we can't beat. That's only at Offenburg Belleville, six miles south of St. Clair Square on Route 159. And we're back at Keel Auditorium, 30 to 16. The Billikens out to an early, comfortable lead over Marquette. And it's time now to think about golf. Why? Well, golf and soccer, because we're going to take it out to San Diego, where my good buddy Rich Gould is standing by to give us a St. Louis Storm indoor soccer update. Rich? All right, Bob, thank you very much. With Ty Keel, Rich Gould live in San Diego. And after the Billikens game, you will be joining us for St. Louis Storm soccer as they try to beat San Diego again on the West Coast. I know we had a ball here the last time, Ty. Well, it's always a tough game when you talk about the San Diego Soccers, and the Storm right now are, are playing very well. They're at 500 again. They had an overtime victory last night up in Tacoma, so a talented team, sometimes a little bit inconsistent, uh, but they're doing some good things right now. Michael Collins with three goals last night, had the hat trick, including the winner in overtime, and the Storm all of a sudden now 6-1 and one in OT, so they can't lose when they take that extra time. Well, I think they enjoy the pressure. Uh, there's some teams that uh, really need that kind of motivation, and and the storm with the experienced players that they do have in this league, they seem to be able to rise to the, to the occasion. Now you got a couple of teams, I think, going in opposite directions. For some reason, San Diego not at all having a good year, and the natives tied getting a bit restless. Well, I think so, especially by the standards that they have set here in this building. They've won so many championships, five MISL championships, the San Diego Soccers this year. Some problems off the field, on the field. Uh, Steve Jungle controversy with Ron Newman and some bad luck, uh, and they've had a great deal of difficulty winning on the road. Now it seems to be that that's carrying over to their, their home results. A big loss last night to Baltimore, 8-1. to That's unheard of. 8-1, to worst loss in the history of this franchise. Very quickly, Ty, when we do come back here, what do you expect tonight? Well, I expect the San Diego Soccers to come out really trying to atone for that type of performance in front of their home fans. And, 
And the Storm, uh, you know, they're going to need to try and pick up where they left off last night. Again, a great road win. If you could take two wins off a road trip like this, you're really going somewhere. So hopefully the Storm will not be a tired club because last night they, they had to travel down south from Tacoma. San Diego, meanwhile, going against a very tough team in the Baltimore Blast. And we look forward to calling the action for them, don't we? Well, we'll be here, and there should be some great action. Again, the Storm have the talented attacking talents of Godfrey Ingram, Gary Hill, uh, Dale Duran coming from the back. So, uh, And it may be uh, David Bursick in goal tonight. All right, let's go ahead and take it out of here, head it back to St. Louis now, where Bob Ramsey's standing by at Keel. Back at Keel Auditorium, thank you very much, Rich Cool. We're looking forward to Storm Soccer coming up immediately following our game. We come back, it'll be the big blue moment. 30-16, to 16, our score, Billikens over Marquette, and this is Billiken Basketball. Celebrate with rich, satisfying Campbell's Soup. Delicious nacho cheese and cheddar cheese, great for your dipping recipes. The shop and save price, only 63 cents each. Mmm, mmm, good. The more you shop, the more you save every day. Let St. Clair replace your windows and you'll never need to replace them again, guaranteed. Hi, I'm Ken Green, announcing our once-in-a-lifetime window sale. Now save hundreds of dollars on St. Clair's custom-made thermal replacement windows and get free installation. Our lowest financing, five-year glass breakage guarantee, triple glazing, and our lifetime warranty. You'll save hundreds of dollars and never need to replace your windows again, guaranteed. It's our once-in-a-lifetime window sale from St. Clair Corporation, bringing your home the very best for over 100 years. At Offenburg Belleville, we're overstocked. We have over 400 cars and trucks in stock with more on the way and no room to park them. So we're cutting prices to the bone. As a matter of fact, we guarantee you won't find a better deal anywhere. What's our guarantee? 100 gallons of gas free if you find a better deal anywhere. You heard it right. That's 100 gallons of gas free if you find a deal on any new car or truck we can't beat. That's only at Offenburg Belleville, six miles south of St. Clair Square on Route 159. It's time now for the Big Blue Moment, brought to you by Blue Cross Blue Shield of Missouri and by Blue Choice, the Blue Cross Blue Shield of HMOs. Four years ago, Anthony Bonner came out of Vashon High School, an unheralded but impressive raw physical talent. Possessing an unequaled work ethic, Bonner has improved specific aspects of his game each summer, returning every season with a new weapon in his arsenal. In his senior year, A.B. has become St. Louis U's all-time leading rebounder. He tops the career steals list to go along with the number three spot in career scoring. Anthony Bonner, our big blue moment. Score as the Billikens lead Marquette. When we come back, we'll have more halftime activities and take a look at the stats. This is St. Louis U Billiken basketball. This declaration hangs in every one of our offices at Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Missouri. It is the promise of every employee to provide the best value in health care benefits. Our assurance that you will always have affordable access to the best in proven medical technology. Our guarantee of client satisfaction. This is a commitment from all of us at Blue Cross and Blue Shield to make sure that you enjoy a healthy advantage when you carry the carrying card. Celebrate 10 years of savings. At Shop and Save. You've been saving every day. Celebrate with the fantastic taste of Edie's Frozen Yogurt Inspirations. The price is inspiring, too. A low $1.77 for the quart size at Shop and Save. Make your day. Taste Edie's Frozen Yogurt. The more you shop, the more you save every day. Beautiful rooms come in a can. A can of True Test Easy Care paint from True Value Hardware Stores. 
Easy Care spatter resistance go on neatly, and it comes in four finishes and hundreds of decorator colors. So whether it's soft, subtle flat finish, rich velvety flat enamel, scrubbable semi-gloss enamel, or brilliant gloss enamel, start your beautiful rooms with True Test Easy Care paint from participating True Value hardware stores and home centers. Buick Skylark is America's new symbol of quality. And now with special factory limited time cash back, Skylark is sticker priced from just $10,673. Of course, add air conditioning, automatic transmission, AM, FM, stereo, and the price jumps to $10,673. Add all these performance features and the price leaps to $10,673. Now add these luxury features and can you believe it? $10,673. But hurry, this price is for a limited time. See your better Buick dealer now. Back at Keele Auditorium, 30 to 16, our score, and you're watching Billiken Basketball on KPLR TV, St. Louis 11, Channel 11 in St. Louis, the home of Billiken Basketball. A nice first half for St. Louis, 30 to 16, you have to be pleased. Billiken's played very well in the first half, Bob, and it's been a tough couple weeks for St. Louis University basketball. I think that the Dobbers were down on these kids. They needed a big performance, especially in front of a capacity crowd. They did come up big in the first half. Let's see if they can sustain it. Billikens were in a slump for really most of January, but Anthony Bonner came out of his personal slump last weekend despite two losses. He's continuing it tonight. Let's take a look at some of the highlights, and here is why Anthony Bonner is out of his slump. Take a look, Tom. Nice triple threat position for Bonner. Steps up and hits the jump shot. We talked about the, some keys to this game. That didn't necessarily specify him that way, but first being the ability to hit the jump shot, then get some off some possessions out of the, some scoring out of the center position. And there you see Melvin tipping Mel it in. So Melvin put in some good minutes for St. Louis. And then watch this one. You've got the outside shooting as a key. We mentioned Luckdefeld was three for three, and Charlie Newberry with the three pointer. Charlie, rather uneven season, but he can shoot the basketball. You know, at the end of the last year, he shot the ball very well. It's coming into that time of year again, and if you want to be playing well, and certainly I'm not going to say the Billikens have been playing well, but this is the time of year you want to do it. And it's a good half statistically for St. Louis. We go to the statistics, and you take a look. Billikens 50% to only 32% for Marquette. Right at halftime, you mentioned that they have just had a horrible first half partly due to St. Louis defense, but also they're just missing some shots. Well, I do though think, Bob, you have to credit the Billiken defense, and there you see it, 32%, and then only 11 rebounds. So the Billikens have done a good job, with particularly Anthony Jones taking Tony Smith really out of the basketball game for all purposes. Individual statistics, Bonner and Newberry, no surprise, as they're two of your three leading scorers for St. Louis, and Bonner with the eight rebounds. Trevor Powell, six points, only one rebound. Conspicuous by his absence from the uh, individual leaders was Tony Smith, who has four points. Well, and he's not shot the basketball very well. Part of the point guard's responsibility is to distribute the basketball. He does that when, he's, when he forces the defense to double-team him. Anthony Jones has been so effective that they really haven't had to double-team Smith, so he's been ineffective in both roles, scorer and creator. Billikens want more of the same. Marquette wants to make some changes. What do you think they might do? I really think as long as season has been for Marquette, being on the road, having been blown out of Wisconsin the other night, it's going to be very difficult for them to come back in this situation. I would think they'll try to gather their resources, play effectively the second half, but they got to be looking down the road a little bit, just psychologically. Right, they are on the verge of falling to the 500 mark as they are 12 and 11 on the year coming into the game, 6 and 4 in the MCC. Billikens needed to win this because the Billikens are 7 and 4 in the MCC. Dayton has already won today. Dayton beat Detroit at Detroit 88-82. It was Xavier over Butler 80 to 66. And so that's why it is very important for the Billikens to win this game tonight. We alluded to that at the right. beginning. Right, as we said off the top, nobody wants to play Xavier until they have to in the tournament. And the way you avoid Xavier is to be seated second or third in the tournament. At that point, I don't think it much matters whether you're second or third, but dodge Xavier as long as you can. I hope somebody beats him, frankly, Tom, along the way. Tom, are you, are you a breakfast eater? Are you a breakfast eater? I very seldom well, miss breakfast. Well, good. The St. Louis Marriott Pavilion Hotel 
The newly remodeled pavilion ballroom and public areas will be ready to meet the needs of your group meetings or banquets in January. For the best value on weekends, ask for the Marriott 2 for breakfast. Perfect for Tom Holly. It's the weekend package. Call 421-1776. Speaking of breakfast, are you hungry? Not really, but... Bonner's Bunch. Bonner's Bunch. Speaking of brunch, you're on, Bob. Billikens, looking to go 16-9 and nine on the year, or currently, as I said, 7-4 and four in the MCC. They need to keep pace with the Dayton Flyers, or at least stay ahead of Marquette to hang on to that third spot in the MCC race. Marquette, we're ready to roll. Anglovar to trigger for the Warriors. He gets it into Smith. And the second half is underway. St. Louis leads it 30 to 16. There's Tony Smith. Takes the ball by the horns and hits for two. Much more aggressive. Just really attacked Anthony Jones that time. Hit the jump shot. You talked about what Marquette has to, has to do. I guess that's it. They've got to be more aggressive. Nice move by Ivester. Mike Ivester, the senior center. 32-18 Billikens. Billikens look to trap defensively. Baldwin gets down, almost stolen by Bonner, but Powell jams it over the top. Marquette beat the trap that time, got out of the double team, and ended up with a dunk. Bonner took a gamble, stealing, trying to steal the pass, lost the gamble, and ended up giving up a dunk. Luck to fell, give and go, keep, yes! Marquette wanted to come out fast. They're being more aggressive offensively, but they need a couple stops if they're going to get back into this game. Luck to fell with eight points. I've heard Rich Brower say it's too easy for Marquette. He's right. Smith in the backcourt. Caught in the trap. Picks up his dribble to Anglovar. Across for Baldwin. There may have been a violation as the track clock was right about 35. Gross weak side rebound. Now Smith. Pull up. Glass. Won't go. Rebound. Powell. Trevor Powell. Both yep. teams trading buckets here in the first and the second half. Kevin O'Neill exhorting his troops. Lucky felt misses Bonner boards. Intensity much better at the start of this half, by, particularly by Marquette. 34-22 St. Louis. 18 and a half minutes left in the game. Anthony Jones out high. AJ swings it low. Can he get a pitch? Nope. He'll run it for Newberry. Luckefeld is hammered by Anglovar. And we got a foul. Anglovar, very ineffective in the first half, Bob. He was over a 50% shooter from three-point range last year. In a slump right now, but if you allow him room, he'll step up and shoot it. Hasn't done so tonight. Luckefeld will do the honors for St. Louis to trigger it in. And we have a problem over at the scorer's table. One of the officials checks it out. Rich Grower upset about something. I wish I knew what it was. The other fisher says, forget it, we're playing. <laughs> it's probably the best. Rather than continue the debate, the lead official says, let's play basketball. Charlie Newberry goes between the legs, Tony Smith all over. Newberry tries to pin him. Oh, and that, that almost could have been an offensive foul as Newberry hooked Tony Smith. They are really battling each other out high. Well, you call it. I think that Kevin O'Neill ripped his club in the locker room, and he's going to at least ask for a better effort this half. Much more aggressive on the perimeter in the early going. 34-22 St. Louis, 18 minutes left in the game. Bonner sets the pick. Bonner gets the ball. Luckefeld, baseline turnaround, nope. Ball one rebound. That's Tony Smith with a shake and bake on the dish. And the drive, it won't go, but we got a foul. Ivester. That time, Ivester. That time, Jeff Luckefeld stunned at Tony Smith, left his man, and Tony Smith found the open man. Baldwin got to the basket. Ivester helped out, but too late. Bruce Hayes coming back into the game for Anglovar. Take a look. That's a better angle than you saw, but better than we could see. Ivester left his feet. You're going to get called every time. Baldwin at the line. 76% free throw shooter, right on the team average. Well, he's, he's due to miss, apparently. Ball. Makes it 
34-23, Billikens. Newberry attacks. Bounce pass for Bonner. Skip to Newberry. Charlie for Bonner. Eyes the long jumper. Bonner from 18. Marquette never gathered their defense from the press. Billikens took advantage of that press, got the jump shot. Bonner has 10 points as Smith brings it back. 36-23 Billikens. Tony Smith for the Marquette Warriors. For Hayes. To Baldwin. Rod Gross comes up high to receive the pass as they try and work the half-court offense. Skip pass for Bruce Hayes. They'll take the long jump. Ball short. Weak side rebound. Bonner. Newberry brings it back for St. Louis. Try to fire it up for Ivester. Taken away by Gross. Folks wanted a travel call on Tony Smith. Didn't get it. Now it's Hayes. Powell backs in and fades away. Yes. Trevor Powell. He has 12. Back down the floor. We got a foul. On Gross. Rod Gross, a 6'10 junior from Mounds View, Minnesota. He's a little bigger than 6'10. He's pushing seven feet now. 16-30 left in the first half. O'Neal trying to get somebody working on his club. He sends in Anglovar to try and put the missing pieces together. Now he's going to play without a true center. I think he has to be more aggressive in his defense. Extend the defense. Pressure him full court. They'll do that with a smaller lineup. Luckdefeld inbound. Newberry in the paint, in trouble. Get rid of it. He got Bonner. Bonner back to Newberry. A little quick inbound that Luckdefeld scored on earlier, but Marquette was ready this time. Now Newberry bounces off his man. It's going to be an offensive foul. And Bruce Hayes drew that one nicely. It is almost academy time, isn't it? Yeah, well, you're right, Bob. They've given out the nomination. Ed Hayes, Phyllis. Time out on the floor. Get a chance to mow over the Academy nominations. When we come back, the Billikens lead it. 36-25 with 6.18 left. This is St. Louis U basketball. White. Ford trucks are the number one selling trucks in America. And your St. Louis quality Ford dealer is out to keep it that way. With up to $1,500 cash back from Ford. Now get $750 cash back on Ford's tough full-size pickup. $1,000 cash back on Ford Ranger or Bronco 2. And $1,500 cash back on a big Ford Bronco. Big savings on America's number one trucks. Now at your St. Louis quality Ford dealer. On both sides of the river to St. Louis for you. Celebrate 10 years of savings. At Shop and Save. You can save on every day. Celebrate with the best. Everybody's favorite delicious Nabisco Teddy Grahams in three popular varieties. Chocolate, cinnamon, and honey. Stock up now. The Shop and Save price of $1.43. The more you shop, the more you save. Every day. And so may air, these swiftly flowing currents create energy, which in turn creates power, which in turn brings electric light to every house in the valley. That's very impressive, gentlemen. Thank you, sir. The contract calls for bringing bug light to the valley. No wonder we're over budget. Bud Light won't fill you up and never lets you down. Which in turn keeps the Bud Light cold. Because everything else is just a light. 6-18 left in the ball game. Billikens on top 36 to 25. And the Warriors are shooting a little better. As you can see, but so are the Billikens, much to the chagrin and disappointment of Kevin O'Neill. Tony Smith brings it up for the Warriors. For Baldwin. That's Haynes. He'll take the J. Miss. Ivester. Oh, over the top. Nice rebound. Powell. Got it. Powell adding a dimension that was absence from the Warrior offense in the first half. That of the offensive rebound goes up big. And the Warriors have cut it to nine. Don't go away yet. Bonner, head fake to the hoop. Yes. Lost his man with the head fake. Good move by Anthony Bonner, whose ability to hit the jump shot frees him up for the drive. Speaking of hitting the jump shot, Smith has not been, and Hayes rebound. Anglovar, skip pass. Baldwin. 
Dish. There's a foul in traffic, whistle on a travel. St. Louis will get it back, and Big Mel's coming in. Melvin Robinson will come in. O'Neal wants a foul, if he could read his lips. Mike Ivester will get a seat. Playing his last game at home as a Billiken in the regular season anyway. Melvin Robinson. Many, many more games here at the Keel in his future. Charlie Newberry. To clear out and isolate for Bonner. Down low, forced the pass for Luckefeld. He tried to reach over Tony Smith to get it. Not a good pass by Bonner. No, a little impatient there by Anthony, trying to force it. 15-12. Left in the ball game, 38-27, St. Louis. Luck picks up his second personal. Hayes hands it off to Smith, and Anthony Jones in there to check Tony Smith. For Baldwin. Powell. Smith wanted a pick. Defense broke it down. Powell wheels baseline, and he travels. Here it is. Nice defense by Melvin Robinson. You said a good help out by Melvin. Newberry across the timeline. Almost double dribble. I'm not so sure he didn't, but Lechtefeld helps him out. Anthony Jones. Give it to Mel. Newberry. Big mismatch inside with Melvin and Ball. No true center in there. Lechtefeld turns and shoots. Big board, but he couldn't hang on. Hayes rebounds. Hang LeVar on the wing. Driving Baldwin over the top. Miss Powell rebound blocked by Luckefeld. That's his third foul. Marquette looking to get back into this one. Here you see it. You, see, inside. you just see the foul. What you don't see is that Anthony Bonner goes over to help. There's no weak side rebounding, so Jeff Luckenfeld steps in and commits the foul. 14 points. Trevor Powell, he's at the line. And this is Powell, normally a 72% free throw shooter. Fourteen, thirteen left in the game. Powell gets it. It's a ten-point game. St. Louis with the lead and the basketball. Newberry caught in the backcourt. They try and trap him. They do, but Biner dish for Robinson. Go up strong. Jam time. Anthony Biner and Melvin Robinson make Marquette pay for their press. Forty twenty-eight, St. Louis. That's Bruce Hayes. Buck the fill will give him shooting room. Baldwin to pile up high, still loose and battled. Buck the fill and Bonner had a piece. Newberry recovers behind the back, on the floor. What a play by Newberry. Charlie, ahead for Bonner. Will drive through the whole glass. Won't go. We have a foul on the floor, a blocking foul on Anglebar. No, I believe he'll shoot two now. I think I called that too quick, Tom. Here you see, you don't see the play by Charlie Newberry to start it, but Anthony Bonner goes, and he'll go to the free throw line. Going to the line, Anthony Bonner. Very difficult for, ten. for a kid like Anglovar to stand his ground. He did it pretty well, but flinched right at the end, hence the foul. Pretty good job, though, by Anglovar. Bonner shooting two. Free throw percentage up to almost 70%. It is now. And this is one facet of his game that still needs improvement for the pro level, and it'll get better. It really is amazing, though, Bob, how everything gets better in the NBA. The free throw percentages go up, obviously, but they really are just better shooters at that level. Trevor Powell rebounds on Bonner's miss, 41-28 St. Louis. Ball went for Powell, stutter step and a walk. 13-18 left in the game. Anthony Jones as the Billikens break down the wall with presence. Newberry to the hoop. Oh, he tried to jam it and he was fouled. Oh, Charlie Newberry wanted a senior jam time for himself. Just strong to the hole. Just short of completing a coast-to-coast -coast run. 
And we have a timeout on the floor before Charlie Newberry goes to the line. 13-13 left in the game. 41-28 Billikens. This is St. Louis U basketball. What's new? Nothing I see. Ain't it true? It's just the same old stuff. Boring as ever. I've had enough. What's new? Try something different, like our scrambled egg pocket, a golden grilled sourdough burger, or a brand new sirloin cheesesteak. They're all here waiting for you at Jack in the Box. What's new? At Offenburg Belleville, we're overstocked. We have over 400 cars and trucks in stock, with more on the way and no room to park them. So we're cutting prices to the bone. As a matter of fact, we guarantee you won't find a better deal anywhere. What's our guarantee? 100 gallons of gas free if you find a better deal anywhere. You heard it right. That's 100 gallons of gas free if you find a deal on any new car or truck we can't beat. That's only at Offenburg Belleville, six miles south of St. Clair Square on Route 159. Hi, everybody. We've got the Hot Stove League coming up Sundays on St. Louis 11 with Al Roboski, Bob Ramsey, and our very special guest, Ted Simmons. Join us. Time now for the Offenburg Ford MCC update. Brought to you by, guess who? Offenburg Ford. Let's take a look. It's a Saturday. That means the MCC is in action. There are the standings. As the Billikens trying to keep pace with Dayton, Xavier beat Butler today, 80 to 66. Dayton beat Detroit, 88-82. Evansville, with about six and a half minutes left, leads Loyola comfortably by 11. But the Billikens need to stay ahead of Marquette and keep pace with Dayton. Well, they're going to end up the season at Evansville. That probably be a pivotal game as it relates to their tournament seed. They're going to have to win on the road at Loyola and perhaps at Dayton to stay out of that number four spot. 28 our score. Charlie Newberry at the line. An excellent free throw shooter. Eight points on the night. And Charlie gets the first one. And jinx him, thank goodness. Newberry with nine. That gives, uh, and Charlie's an 86% free throw shooter. The best on the Billikens. Let's count them both for Charlie. Ten uh, points. Excuse me. I may have misspoke and said Dayton. I meant Evansville. Billikens have to win at Evansville. Powell for Anglovar. Hayes gives it up to Tony Smith. Around a pick. Didn't get a shot. Wants to drive. Stolen by Newberry. Nice spin move around Anglovar. They'll race to the hoop. Fake. Glass. Step. Steal and hoop for Charlie Newberry. Charles with 12. Ball went for Anglovar. Nope. Long rebound battle. It's Bonner. Who else? Who else? Newberry will lead it for St. Louis. Melvin, drop step, turn, shoot, yes. Melvin pin ball on that time, good under pass by Charlie Newberry. Without a true center, Melvin should be able to do some business in the paint. 47-28 Billikens, Hayes from long range. Yes, it's a tray, he canned it. Hayes got the tray. With 12.05 left in the game. Newberry runs it back for St. Louis. 47-31 Billikens. They clear out for Bonner. Skips to Newberry around the picket fence. Got it! Oh, man, a deuce for Newberry. And Newberry's upset, and I don't blame him. I didn't see it, Bob, but it looked like a three. I really was not watching his feet. I took a quick glance, but I'm sure the referee was staring right at his feet. Anyway, Newberry got the deuce, and it's 49-31 Billikens. Now Hayes from long range. That's no good. Long board. Bonner tips. Tipped again, and Bonner controls. Four on two. Bonner will lead. Bonner pulls up and dishes. Oh, and Melvin jabs high! Bonner, the luck to foul. The big Melly. You wouldn't think those are the guys who'd want running the break, but they ran the floor perfectly, got the jam. 51-31, a 20-point Billiken lead. Don't forget, though, Tom, as Anglovar shoots and drains a three-pointer. Three Don't forget, 
that Melvin Robinson, despite the fact that he looks slow sometimes in the half-court defense, can run better than most men his size. Very good at running the floor. And Bonner is, as, is excellent at running the floor. Oh, nice move. Won't, won't go, tip, tip again. Robinson kept it alive, but Smith boards. Tony Smith. Tony Smith drives over the top, won't go, Powell board. Powell changed his shot and hit. Trevor Powell with a nice move because Melvin Robinson made three Marquette Warriors alter their shot. 17 points for Trevor Powell with 10-21. Left in the ball game. Bonner high post. Clear out for Bonner. Plenty of time on the shot clock, 20 seconds. Ten minutes left in the game. Bonner behind the back dribble to the hole. Good! A whistle and a foul. I don't think they'll count the bucket. Let's see. In the NBA, you've, you've got a deuce for you. You know, the Billikens here, you're, you're gonna see, you'll see uh, the reach in against Yeah, there's Charles the foul Smith before the shot. You're right, continuation of the NBA. Not applicable here. Ten minutes left in the game. Foul was on Bruce Hayes, his third personal. Not a shooting foul. Because it was, he was on the floor. So A.J. will trigger for George Walls, who checked into the game replacing Jeff Luckefell. It's Bonner. New shot clock on the foul. Jones for Bonner. Swings it and gives it to Newberg. Nice pick. Down low, A.J. He's hammered. A.J. as Charles Luter got him. Luter had just checked into the game, a 6-4 sophomore from Milwaukee. And Luter gets Anthony Jones. Good post up. You know, Anthony Jones can post up very strong. He did that time through the foul. Oh, you see the good look in by Charles Newberg. Almost caught in the air. Anthony just ducks under. And he's strong enough. To get position. At 6'5", if he was 6'5", another three and a half inches, Anthony Jones would be the reincarnation of Charles Barkley. With a yeah. better body. As a, you're right. As a, as a post player, yes. He could, if Jones was 6'5", with the same skills, he could play six. Yeah, I, I don't call it. He certainly could play it defensively, and he could post up in there strong. Charles Barkley. Ooh. AJ hit. Jeff Gayona will check in. Jeff Gayona, the freshman from Desmet High School in St. Louis. We'll get a little chance to run the point. I imagine that Charlie Newberry will move to the two guard. 53-36 there, you see it. Tony Smith for Luter. Luter Anglevar wants the three, takes it, misses, tip battle. Bonner and Robinson. Bonner couldn't control. Baldwin, but then uh, Charlie Newberry comes back and grabs the loose rock. They bring it back for the Billikens. Working out of a double stack. Gayona comes to the near wing. Down for Bonner. Kicks it back to Jeff Gayona. Bonner will back in on the post. Had it stripped away and stolen away. Smith for Luter. Two on one. Did he walk? He sure did. Tried, or double dribble rather, tried to shuffle the ball with Tony Smith and couldn't grab the handle. You know, this 17-point lead looks pretty safe with nine minutes to go, and the Billikens psychologically have really needed this five. This Kevin Foote's incident and, and the prevail around him all year long has really brought this team down psychologically. I think mentally this will give them a big lift going down the stretch. Dewberry around the Robinson pick, into Robinson, took a walk, good call. Stepped and sort of lost the handle and traveled. Take a look, Tom. Here you see it. Good entry pass. Melvin just can't quite gather himself. Takes a walk. 8.42 left in the game. You know, it, I'm, sorry. St. Louis. I'm sorry. As we look at Dan Godfrey and Tyrone Hill, that was the sort of play they were making as freshmen, though. Let's not forget that he's only a freshman. And Godfrey and Hill, the best post player in the league. Baldwin recovers that. and scores on the air ball. Billikens working the clock now. 
Going with their motion. Gayona three-point country. Misses badly. Gayona has really been shooting well in practice the last two weeks. You know, you know, I watched her then. He really stuck the ball, but it's so mental, isn't it, Bob? Once you get into a game, the kid can shoot the ball well. 53-38 St. Louis. 30 seconds. Gayona. Jeff Gayona for Bonner. Got a mismatch with Tony Smith. Will drive. Got him in the air. Short jumper. Won't go. Rebound pulled away by Baldwin. 7.40 left. Tony Smith for Luter. Back to Smith. He'll take a three-pointer. Bang! He got it. Marquette trying to hang tough. And Rich Grower notices and wants a timeout. 53-41 our score here at Keele Auditorium. 7.26 left in this game. And we'll take a break and come back with the rest of the ball game before we go to soccer. This is Billiken. I said, put on some spikes and get the queen a butt light. Oh. For clean, fresh taste, one light outshines them all. Butt light. Henry, they're pop tops. Because everything else, oh, is just a light. Celebrate ten years of savings. At Shop and Save. You can save them every day. Celebrate with rich, satisfying Campbell soup. Delicious nacho cheese and cheddar cheese, great for your dipping recipes. The shop and save price, only 63 cents each. Mmm, mmm, good. The more you shop, the more you save, every day. That shop and save. For great personal service and low everyday prices, check the lineup at your neighborhood True Value Hardware Store, where the February Hardware Value of the Month is a pack of three True Test Professional Cleaners to fight dirt, grease, and grime. Like heavy duty spray cleaner, ammoniated glass cleaner, and concentrated all purpose cleaner. Get all three True Test Professional Cleaners for $2.98 in February, where you see the banner at participating True Value Hardware Stores and Home Centers. Immediately following the game, we'll take you out to San Diego. We'll join in progress where Rich Cool and Ty Keogh have the St. Louis Storm against the San Diego Soccer in MISL action. So stick around for that. Our double header tonight on KPLR. 7.20. Left in this one here at the Keel. 53-41 Billikens. Rich Crowler's gone back to his starting lineup. Bonner took a little extra step. Gross blocked it. Anyway, and Marquette will bring it back. Smith for Baldwin over Luchtefeld. No call. Baldwin got it back and lays it in. It's a 10-point game again. Marquette tried to run earlier in this half. Got it down to 10, but the Billikens were able to stave off the run. Let's see if they can do it here, Tom. Back to their original starting lineup. This, this group really runs the half-court offense much better when they substitute. Luck to fell. Newberry around the screen. Puts up the J. Can't get the roll. But the loose ball is recovered by Bonner. Newberry will run the offense. New shot clock down low. It's Bonner. Backs in traffic. Newberry wants a three-pointer. Takes it. Won't go. Rebound Gross. Puts on a foul. Ivester pushed. Rod Gross. Not a shooting foul, though, as Marquette is not in the bonus situation. Marquette will get the basketball, trailing by 10 with 6.13 left. Their designated three-point shooter, Anglovar, is not in the game right now. Hayes running the point. For Gross. Rod Gross for Baldwin. Back to Hayes. Takes the jumper. Misses. Ford on the floor. Luchtefeld fires ahead for Newberry. Nice pass. One on two. Behind the back. To the hoop. Finger roll. Count it. Whistle foul. Sweet move behind the back to split the defenders. You said it, Bob. You know, 
20 years ago, that almost was unthinkable. Now there's all kinds of people in Division One basketball. Put Charlie Newberry on that list as he slices to the goal. The foul was on Tony Smith, his second personal Newberry at the line to try for a three-point play. He does and has 17 points. Charles Newberry. 5.50 left. Billikens lead at 56-43. Rich Brower, you hear yelling, wants the stunt. Weak side rebound. Powell stripped away. Gets it back. No, we have a foul. Bonner got it. And it will send Powell to the line to shoot a pair. 72% free throw shooter is Trevor Powell. Take a look at the battle under the under the glass. I would imagine Kevin O'Neill blistered Trevor Powell at the half who was very ineffective on the boards in the first half. Now much more aggressive, getting a lot more done. Powell hits, he will get another. Billikens have two more regular season games, both on the road at Loyola. Next week, next Thursday to be exact, and then the following Sunday at Evansville. And then it's the conference tournament. 525 left in this one. My guy, Lester, out high. The Billikens can work their motion offense, work the clock. Luchtefeld comes around the low pick. Now Rich Broward just said he wants him to set up high. You see Bonner near side, Ivester on the other side. Bonner drives, misses. Wilkins have cooled off a little bit from the field with the jump shots. Lead by 12. Smith almost lost the ball, does lose it. Luchtefeld ahead for Bonner. Watch this one. As a senior, jump time. Nice to have one like that in his last regular season game at Kia. Kind of an exclamation point on a fine career by Anthony Bonner. Smith misses. Rebound Ivester. 58-44 Billikens. Newberry around Hayes. Wants to drive. Got caught in a double team in trouble. We have a whistle of a travel on Charlie Newberry. Newberry can't believe it. He said the guy had the ball. Which tells him to calm down. Donnie Brown comes in for the first time tonight as Bonner comes out to a big round of applause. Jeff Gayona's going to check back into the game. There's the jam time by Bonner. Rich Crower got Newberry out of there. He wants him to calm down a little bit with 419 left and let Jeff Gaona run it while Newberry's collecting himself. You're right. I think Bonner and Newberry will sit down for about a minute. They'll be right in there for the stretch run. Brown moves to center for St. Louis. He's the sophomore from Hayes, Kansas. They drive on him, knocked away, loose ball. They say Brown touched it last as Baldwin couldn't get it back inside. Pelicans have a TV timeout coming, so... Bonner and Newberry can get a rest and come back in fresh. Baldwin pushes off, had it blocked by Brown. Ivester and Lechtefeld recover, and Donnie Brown comes in and makes a contribution with four minutes left in the game. St. Louis leads 58-44. Jeff Gayona. And now Marquette really trying to turn it up. Luchtefeld steps through and got fouled by Hayes. Nice job by Luchtefeld. That's what you're supposed to do in a two-man trap. You said step through it. And they've got to foul you. Luck to fill to go to the line to shoot one and a bonus. And that is a man you don't want to foul if you are on Marquette. Luck to fill at 76% from the line this season. 26 of 34. And Rich checking the point you just made to make sure the TV timeout was coming. The official, actually Rich checked the official. I don't want to give the official away, but the official didn't think they had one coming. And then since he checked for Grower, found out they indeed do have a TV timeout coming. <laughs> Anglovar. He's in there to shoot the three. Smith almost had a stolen away. He's stolen away by Luckefell to Jones. Jones and Gayona. AJ to the hoop. Got it. AJ! 
Seniors coming up big for the Pelicans tonight. 60 to 44. Tony Smith, long range. The bomb misses, rebound. Ivester Luckefeld to Bide, and Gayona will run back into the front court. Luckefeld at the center circle. Luckefeld, for all intents and purposes, Tom is a senior. He's showing it in his play tonight. Stolen away by Gayona. Nice play by the freshman. Did, ooh. He had the bounce pass ready for Smith, and Smith saw it coming. Time out of the floor with 2.54 left in the game. St. Louis 60, Marquette 44. This is St. Louis University, Billiken basketball. What's new? Nothing I see is true. It's just the same old stuff. Boring as ever. I've had enough. What's new? Try something different, like our scrambled egg pocket, a golden grilled sourdough burger, or a brand new sirloin cheesesteak. They're all here waiting for you at Jack in the Box. What's new? There were times that I wondered if I'd ever want a child. If I did, would it change me? Would it change my lifestyle? But today as I sing a song, I'm as happy as a girl could be. Because my life's so rich, because of that baby. He's the smile on my face, he's the joy in my soul. He's the feelings and emotions that have never been told. He's my reason for being, he's my time I to rejoice. Now for the True Value Hardware Game Summary Report brought to you by, who else? True Value Hardware. There you see it, Tom. Newberry and Bonner, and look at the boards. Bonner has been at the top of the national rebounding list all year. Well, we talked about the seniors coming up big. Even Mike Ivester, his, probably his best game of the year, and certainly Newberry and Anthony Bonner. 60-44, Anthony Jones. Playing well tonight, he has the basketball right there. The other senior, four seniors for St. Louis. Newberry's played three years for the Billikens. Jones, three years. Ivester, two, and Bonner, four. Skip pass, A.J., and they'll work the clock nicely. Billikens by 16. 2.35 left in the game. A.J. in a trap, gets through it. Newberry dribbles, finds Ivester. Nice play to Luckdefeld, 225 left. 15 on the shot clock, Anthony Jones is fouled and it won't go, and A.J. will go to the line. Nice running of the offense by the Billiken. You said a great backdoor look by Anthony Bonner. Puts his high school teammate on the free throw. Tyrone Baldwin. Oh, here you see our all Metro team. The, the switchboard is switchboard uh -oh. is lighting up, Tom. Quanzo Martin, Paul Lusk. We're talking about three underclassmen, Scott Highmark, Julian Winfield, and Richard Keene of Collinsville. I give the coach of the decade the Floyd Irons of Vashon. I don't think there can be any doubt about that. And let's list Bobby Bowen as the coach of the year for the great job he's done at Collinsville. Keen, a sophomore, you're going to hear a lot about this kid. He is going to be a great one. Anthony Jones gets his eighth point of the night. Anthony Jones. Now that's my all metro team, and not very official, Bob. No, no, I, well, let's put our stamp of approval and uh, officiality on it. Well. Anger bar, one of the three. Instead, the entry. Oh, air ball, loose. Ivester, nice recovery. Can't to dribble out of trouble. Somebody better help him. Bounce pass to Luckdefeld. Nice no look for Newberry into the front court. Luckdefeld's playing well. He really is, Bob. I was just thinking the exact same thing. You know, he really had a tough stretch, but now he's getting some playing time, playing with confidence. Really a contributor. Bounce pass. Driving Anthony Jones. He's fouled. AJ will go back to the line. 
Minute 37 left. This one all but over. Don't forget Rich Gould standing by. Waiting to bring you MISL indoor soccer live from San Diego in progress. The Storm and the Soccers. And I'm sure he was also happy to be out on the golf course today. I have not talked to Rich today. I guarantee you he played golf. AJ hits. As we watch the temperatures drop. Anthony Jones. Can he go into double figures tonight? His last game at the Kia. You betcha. Ten points for AJ. George Wallace comes in. A big round of applause for Anthony Jones. Well deserved. What a class kid this is with so much character. The type of guy, you mentioned Anthony Bonner will do well as Anglovar shoots a three-pointer and misses Kyle Follow dunk. But Anthony Jones will also succeed. Oh, here we go. Oh, my jam time. Smith hits three-pointer. Marquette wants a timeout. We'll take a break as well. 65-49 our score. This is St. Louis U basketball. It's the biggest news about Ford Escort since it was introduced. For the first time ever, you can choose from a $1,000 cash bonus from Ford, or you can take $750 cash plus low 6.9% financing for up to 48 months. There's never been a better opportunity for you to own the world's best-selling car. Ford Escort. There's never been a better time to buy. See your local Ford dealer today. Interviews, features, reviews, tips, and advice. Many favorite articles from the St. Louis Post-Dispatch are now rolled into one new weekly edition, and it's delivered free to people who don't yet subscribe to the Post-Dispatch. Introducing PostScript. Look for it every Wednesday. 9,169 on hand at the Keel, the fourth largest crowd since Rich Grauer has been a coach. And watch this one, an exclamation point on a great... Career. Beautiful. We'll save that one. Let's let's end it all in our memories with that jam right there for Anthony Bonner. Possibly his last game at the Kiel. Luck to fell. Oh, what a behind the back pass for Newberry. Back to Luck to fell. One minute left in the game. Bills lead 65-49. Wallace had his pass stolen away by Smith. Marquette's not lying down. Hayes for Baldwin. Back to Hayes from way out and missed by a whole lot. And Powell walks but gets the shot. But it won't fall. Bonner boards for Newberry to Bonner. He'll drive to the hoop and it won't go. Robinson battling for the loose ball and he's fouled by Tony Smith. Robinson will go to the line to shoot one at a bonus and Don Brown comes in for... Let's see, Melvin Robertson thought he was coming out. Who is coming out? Is it Bonner? Yes. A big round of applause and a standing ovation for Anthony Bonner. 15 points, 14 rebounds. And numbers can't tell you what he's done for the St. Louis U ba basketball program. You're absolutely right. He really, and we talked about it in the pregame, he's the standard in terms of worth ethic. He, he weighs, this really is a neat moment. Let's watch. Newberry comes out as a senior. We've touched on it, Bob. This really has been a negative couple of weeks for the Billikens and a tough time for Rich Grower. And, you know, a night like this, really important, just as we said, psychologically, getting the kids feeling better about themselves for the stretch run. 30 seconds left. Smith, Anglovar, three-point country. Got it. And another timeout. We'll take another break. 65-52 Bills. This is St. Louis U basketball. Whoa! Frank. <laughs> I 
send you for a Bud Light, and you bring back... Well, if you want the one light that outshines them all, ask for Bud Light. So, there are no men here, there's an unlimited supply of Bud Light, and we can never leave. Correct. Because everything else is just a light. We can live with that. Yeah. Let St. Clair replace your windows, and you'll never need to replace them again, guaranteed. Hi, I'm Ken Green, announcing our once-in-a-lifetime window sale. Now save hundreds of dollars on St. Clair's custom-made thermal replacement windows and get free installation. Our lowest financing, five-year glass breakage guarantee, triple glazing, and our lifetime warranty. You'll save hundreds of dollars and never need to replace your windows again, guaranteed. It's our once-in-a-lifetime window sale from St. Clair Corporation, bringing your home the very best for over 100 years. That's the story of the game. The seniors are out of the lineup. Ivester, Newberry, Jones, and of course Anthony Bonner. Browns pass stolen away by Powell. 20 seconds left. Smith stops, pops. Oh my, there's a big time three pointer for you. O'Neal wanted another timeout. 65-55 as Marquette cuts it to 10 with 14 seconds remaining. Which Barrett talking to Don Brown, who made a really rather lazy pass that time. He's not done coaching, and neither is Kevin O'Neal, whose team is now 10 points behind. Tony Smith coming out of this shell, but it's way too little, too late for Marquette. They're going to go home with their tails between their legs. There's that great student section for the St. Louis U contingent. Love to see that. That's big time basketball when the students can come out like that. Nice, nice effort tonight by the St. Louis U students. Give yes. themselves a round of applause. St. Louis U basketball is a presentation of the SNI Network, Sports Network. President is Greg Marasek. Our producer and director, there he is, Jerry Wetzel. Nice job. Mark Zerlini, the associate producer. Jennifer Rudlin is our assistant director. And we'll take a look at the names of the people who made this program possible. I'd like to thank them all for a job well done. Also, we want to thank the athletic director at St. Louis U, Joe Yates, who's got a pretty fair jump shot himself. Head coach Rich Grower, his staff, and the sports information director for SLU, Bob Noss. Also want to thank the AD at Marquette, Bill Cords, head coach Kevin O'Neill. There's George Wallace, won't go. And the sports information director at Marquette, Mark Johnson. As it winds down, an air ball, Luckefeld throws it down for Ross. Did he get it off? No, oh, and they won't count it. And the Billikens win by 10. A nice one. 65 to 55. We'll be back to wrap it up from Kiel Auditorium after this. The Billikens win it by 10. This is St. Louis U basketball. Celebrate 10 years of savings. At Shop and Save. Celebrate with the fantastic taste of Edie's Frozen Yogurt Inspirations. The price is inspiring, too. A low $1.77 for the quart size at Shop and Save. Make your day. Taste Edie's Frozen Yogurt. The more you shop, the more you save every day. At Offenburg Belleville, we are overstocked. We have over 400 cars and trucks in stock with more on the way and no room to park them. So we're cutting prices to the bone. As a matter of fact, we guarantee you won't find a better deal anywhere. What's our guarantee? 100 gallons of gas free if you find a better deal anywhere. You heard it right. That's 100 gallons of gas free if you find a deal on any new car or truck we can't beat. That's only at Offenburg Belleville, six miles south of St. Clair Square on Route 159. Beautiful rooms come in a can. A can of True Test Easy Care paint from True Value Hardware Stores. Easy Care is spatter resistant to go on neatly, and it comes in four finishes and hundreds of decorator colors. So whether it's soft, subtle flat finish, rich velvety flat enamel, scrubbable semi-gloss enamel, or brilliant gloss enamel, start your beautiful rooms with True Test Easy Care paint from participating True Value Hardware Stores and home centers. the door. Gather the kit. There's a storm coming your way. 